What's up everybody, Dr. Craig Ingstrom here, but you can just call me Craig because I love Canva just as much as you do. I am on my personal website here, craigingstrom.ninja, and this is made in Canva. I'm going to show you in this video how to embed a Canva presentation or any type of Canva onto your website. Why would you wanna do this? Well, in this video, I'm going to cover using Google Maps and Canva together, give you some ideas for how you might use it if you are a teacher or a business person, but I'm sure once you see what I'm doing, you will have a lot of creative ideas which you will share in the comments. But before you do that, smash that like button. It's going to help out the algorithm, make sure that this video gets in front of other people. And hey, I'm giving you a picture of a nerdy goat. So if you don't even like this video, at least like that goat. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing is if you are a business and you want people, for example, to leave a review, you can entice them to do that right on your site. I'm using Bombay Olive here. It's one of my favorite Indian restaurants in Carbondale, Illinois, because it serves South Indian food, can get a great dose of there. A lot of Indian restaurants are Northern Indian, where it's hard to find Southern Indian food in the United States, but you can find it in Carbondale. So anyway, I digress. But as you can see here, I have a map and you can actually interact with it. Click here, it'll take you to the review page so that someone can re review your restaurant or whatever you want them to review right away. Another way that you can use this is to, for example, a travel company, and you want to sort of show where your business is with some kind of graphic image, you could do that. So the fastest route to the Eiffel Tower is using Pamper Me Travel. I just searched for travel and that's what came up. So if you're Pamper Me Travel, free shout out to you. Uh, anyway, continuing on here and Let's say you're a teacher and you want to do something where you're going to update your page weekly uh, with some kind of, let's say, map, and you're going to ask a question. So, for example, weekly travels in the history of rhetoric is a fictitious classic. And I could say, hey, identify three famous speeches at the Coliseum. What's kind of nice here is you can click on it and get the different views. So it makes your page just a little bit interactive. But more importantly here is let's say that I just want to update this weekly on this page and I don't want to do anything else. Well, the nice thing is I can just update in Canva and it's going to update on this page automatically. So let me show you how you can go about doing this. All right, so if you have, let's just go here for this page. All I did is I put in a logo, added some text. I put a box behind here on this image of the map. So how do you get the maps? Well, let's say that you're just on sort of templates. And what you're going to do is you're going to go down to more. You maybe never clicked on this. Maybe you have. But it does give you a lot of options. And one of those options is Google Maps. I'm going to click on that. And I can just come up here and search. It's going to find my most recent search. But I could type in, for example, Bombay Olive. Carbondale, it found that out. You know, I use the zip code. I'm just going to click on it. And it's going to place that onto the page. You can then resize it. You can do a lot of different things with it. So the reviews will be there and all of that. Okay, so continuing on to this page, all I did was I searched for some templates. I found one of the templates that had some really nice, beautiful uh, images in it. I think it was this one, Famous Landmarks. Yep, I clicked on that. And then I just searched for in this case, I went back to Maps, which will show up here now since you've already previously used it. If you want to get rid of it, you can actually just uh, click on the X here and it'll get rid of it. But I just typed in travel for this video and it brought me up. I think the default for some reason is like Virginia and just created on the page. And then I searched for an element. I went to, I think, graphics or you can go to all and then you can sort of search through them. You can also go to the magic recommendations and find yourself you know, some kind of graphic that you want to use. What's nice about this is it does add a little bit of interactive sort of visual element to the page. And now finally on this one, I again did everything that I just showed you. So I think you get it now. But one thing I just want to highlight and what makes this so great is, for example, let's say now I want to update my web page and I don't want to go through the process of updating the image, downloading it and then re-uploading to my web page. Because I'm using embed, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second, I can say, for example, what famous speech was delivered here. And then what I can do is I can go back to maps. I can then search for AICC Mumbai and choose one of them. I'm not exactly sure 100% the location, but I could drop that here and then give my students a little bit of a teaser. I'm going to just resize that. I'm going to go ahead and go to file and I'm going to hit save just to make sure that all the changes are saved. I'm going to go back to my website. I'm going to update it. 
And then, of course, if I was doing this where I was just updating one thing, then it would show up right away. But we have to go all the way to the last page here. And it's going to say, what famous speech was delivered here? And you can see now it's different. It's no longer the Colosseum in Italy. And I can just quickly update it. Now, if you're in training development, you can now imagine you could do weekly sort of trainings and just build a slide deck day by day. So then all of the slides from previous days would be there, but say sort of a new topic or training would be visible. So you could do, you know, photos of your students if you run a you know, web page for your university and you want to kind of update them or special events or images through the, the year and just each month have different slides being added to it. So it makes your one page interactive. So, so many things that you can do. How did I do that? So it's really super simple. All you're going to do is once you create whatever you want to create, go up to here and you're going to click on that. And then you're going to choose. So you can see there's all kinds of options, but I'm going to choose this embed. I'm just going to copy this and then I'm going to go over to any site you have, WordPress, Weebly, Wix, Squarespace, whatever it might be. And then you're just going to use whatever function it is for the embed code, drag and drop. Hopefully you have that kind. If not, you might have to talk to your web development team. I'm going to paste that in there and then click publish. And there you have it. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you smash the like, share it with others. And don't forget, I did show you this nerdy goat and I hope that you will like at least that. Stick around for more videos on this channel. I cover a variety of topics to improve your presentation skills. And for those of you that are in teaching or training and development, I cover videos that are going to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of your trainings or your workflow. So subscribe to the channel if that sounds interesting to you. And until the next video, I hope you have a wonderful day.